I have the privilege of third Thursday of every month getting together with a lot of veterans from all wars. We have a good lunch and chit chat, tell stories. The first time we got together, there were five of us that said, well, this is good, we'll do it again next month. So the next month there were seven, and the next month after that there were 10. Just word of mouth, people have said, you know, oh yeah, we have a lunch group, we have a lunch group. Come and join us, come and join us. And as of today, we have a roster of 110. We have outside speakers, but most of the time, the fellas tells the story, something that happened to them during the war. We looked down and there were the American soldiers. And everybody was smiling and cheering. The soldiers were throwing up uh, cigarettes and candy to the people on the second floor and handing them out down, down below as well. And there was just complete jubilation. And, uh, you know, that was, that was the highlight of my life right, right there. Great group of guys. Tell all kinds of wild stories you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> a lot of fun. It's easy to talk with the other fellas. It's like a, uh, <laughs> I hate to say it, a good highball. <laughs> well, it's nice being here with all of you, Kevin. <laughs> Glad, to, glad you're here. Who are you calling gentlemen? <laughs> well, we just get together to be among old buddies. And uh, all branches of service, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, regular Army, Coast Guard, the works. It started with World War II, and we got uh, Korean veterans, we have Vietnam veterans, now have uh, the younger group from the uh, wars going on overseas at the present time. We get together informally and just chat as to, do you remember when or what outfit were you in? Where did you serve? Those are little stories of these guys whose kids, some were younger than 21 at the time, coming in here, some from, from all over this uh, Central Bay Area. Individual stories which mo may seem like much to them or to others, but they're important to me. So many times, different things that uh, the civilian life wouldn't understand. The fellows are able to talk about it and knowing for a fact that the others in that room can understand what happened. And, uh, but the fellas in, in the group, we, we know. We've been there. And unless you've been there, you know, it's, it's hard to understand. I know when I was flying, I was, uh, I was a 19-year-old bombardier on a, on a B-17 heavy bomber. And I flew 35 combat missions myself with, with a crew of nine. Great group of people. You have to rely on other people, and they rely on you. It's, it's interesting how you can meet total strangers and be with them for a period of six, seven, eight months and just be so close to them. And the other guys tell me about being prisoner of war. These are some of the things we remember we dream about after all these years. And I think not just of me, but all the other buddies who went through this, who didn't come back, they aren't around to tell these stories anymore. They're the ones I think about. They're the ones I pray for. And this is basically what the whole group is built on. Just memories that we share with each other. And sometimes it's good to bring up the, uh, the memories, but uh, when it's eating in your, your stomach, you know, 
it's best to get it out, speak about it, talk about it. They don't care your rank. There's some commanders, generals, privates, truck drivers in the service. That doesn't make any difference. You're all buddies who went through a lot. We're grateful to all of them. And that's, that's what we understand about each other. It doesn't make any difference whether the fellow was in uh, conflict yesterday or the day before or last week or uh, 70 years ago. They still go through the same thing. Once you've been there and been through it, I think it, it's something that'll stay with you the rest of your life. There's no soap or uh, medication or anything else that's just gonna wash it out. It's always gonna be there. It's a wonderful group of guys who gave so many years of their lives to save our country. In some ways, I think it's a privilege for me, or each individual, to be there amongst the, the veterans that uh, are given their time for their country, made in some ways the country and the world a safer place to live. It's an honor to be a veteran, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>